Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. Just in case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow, so find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So we will begin today just sitting down. I am going to start in butterfly though, so feel free to join me. Bringing some length into your spine and letting your shoulders fall from your ears. Close your eyes at any time you'd like. Now if it does feel right to fold forwards in the way that you are sitting right now, you can add that in. But we're just going to take a moment here to notice our breath. No need to change anything, but just notice it. Feel it. If you're lucky, you might even be able to hear the sound of your own breath. Now, if you are folding forwards, let an inhale help you come back up. And if your knees are out wide, bring them together. Actually, you can bring your knees together to, no matter how you are seated. You might take a little rock side to side. And then with our knees bent and our feet planted, <clears throat> We're going to lean back a little bit just to bring some length into the spine and wake up the core a little bit. So lean back, sit tall, relax your shoulders just until you feel your core turn on to hold you in place. And then from here, you can hold your legs, your knees, or reach past. We're just going to start to float maybe our right foot. If it doesn't want to float, it doesn't have to float. Maybe you can point your toes forwards. Maybe you can squeeze your knees together. And then bring your right foot down and float the left one if it wants to float. Squeeze the knees again. Maybe point the toes again. Relax your shoulders. Lower your left foot and lift the right one. Squeeze the knees. Point the toes. Drop your right foot and lift the left. Point the toes, squeeze the knees. One more on each side. Relax your shoulders, left foot, and down. Lean forwards, give your knees a bigger hug. Our nice rock side to side, and then we can come over into tabletop onto our hands and knees. <clears throat> so we had a chance to lean back and wake up our core our spines, from our tabletop, tuck your toes under, and then hover your knees ever so slightly. Push into your hands, hover your knees a little, not a lot, just a little. You're gonna continue to wake up your core and your spine, and you're gonna now wake up your quads and everything else. Relax your shoulders, your face. Take just another inhale. And then exhale, bring your knees down, relax everything completely. If you need to untuck your toes for a second, you can. But then tuck them right back under. And then lift all the way up and into downward facing dog. Think of downward dog right now as a place to soften a little bit. Push into your hands. Send your hips high. Think stretching the arms and the shoulders instead of working so hard, but it is still a lot of work to be here too. Take a nice deep breath in, a deep breath out, and then use an inhale to look forwards. As you exhale, walk up to the top of your mat. Take your time. Once you get there, inhale for a half lift. Lift your chest halfway, lengthen your spine, and exhale to fold forwards. Pause here in your forward folds. You could hold your elbows or let your arms dangle down. You could add a little bit of a sway forwards and back. Maybe shift the weight into the balls of the feet, the toes, and then shift the weight back into the heels. 
might be a small micro movement. Or you might actually be able to see the toes lift, the heels lift, but breathe softly. Let your upper body be as heavy as it can be. And take one more breath before you release your hands back down to the ground and bend your knees a little bit so you can inhale into a half lift. Lift the chest and lengthen the spine and then maybe the legs lengthen as well. And exhale to fold. Plant your hands down and step your feet back into your downward facing dog. Now you might bring your feet out wide here, maybe mat with apart, turning your toes in a little, pushing into your hands, sending your hips nice and high. If your right hand wants to reach back towards your left foot, might grab your leg or get halfway there. It might be a nice little twist. And then bring your right hand back and switch sides. Bring your left hand towards your right leg or foot or as close as it wants to get, a little twist. And then bringing your left hand back towards the top of your mat. Push into your hands more. You can keep your feet nice and wide, but if your toes are pointing in a little bit, turn them so they're pointing straight forwards if possible. You might bend your knees a little bit so that you can walk your hands back towards your feet all the way back until you end up in a forward fold and maybe your feet are wide here. You can keep your hands on the ground. You could hold your elbows again. If this time you want to sway, it might be from side to side, from the left foot to the right foot. It might be a micro movement. It might be a little bit bigger. Let your upper body be heavy, your head too. Feel the length through the legs. Take one more breath here. Finding center if you are swaying and releasing your hands down to the ground if you're holding your elbows. Bend your knees so that you can plant your hands. Start to walk back up to the top of your mat into your downward dog where your feet might be nice and wide. So we're going to look to the top of our, or the outside of our right hand, let's say. Now our feet are out wide right now. I want you to maybe leave your left foot where it is and walk or step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. So we're going to end up with our feet, one on the left side of the mat and then one on the right side of the mat. Now it's a weird lunge, lizard lunge, but we're wide. I want you to turn your toes out slightly of your back foot. Try to drop your heel down and then same thing with your front foot. Turn your toes out slightly. Try to drop your heel down and then just take a second to center yourself. Find your balance. This is a weird, wide lunge, weird lizard variation. We're going to be taking our back foot and bringing it to the outside of the left hand. So we're back in our wide stance, okay? Take your time, walk or take one big step. Whatever you got to do. Once it's there though, turn your toes out slightly. Start to bend your knees and lower your hips into the lowest squat you can possibly find. Now we're going to come all the way up to standing from here. So come all the way up to standing. Step your feet back in and together. Let go of what just happened. Roll your shoulders back and down and take an inhale to reach up. As you exhale, fold forwards. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale, fold. Plant your hands. Step your feet back and into your downward facing dog. Bring your feet out wide again. Toes in slightly. Push into your hands. Stay in your wide downward dog. Or take your right hand back towards your left foot or leg. Your twist. Bring your right hand back and switch sides. See how close you can get your left hand to your foot or your leg. 
And then bring your left hand back to the top of your mat. Push into your hands. We're going to start to walk our feet back to, or walk our hands back towards our feet. Let me get that right. If your toes are still pointing in slightly, turn them to point forwards a little bit more. Once you get into your forward fold, not here long, but maybe a little bit of a sway, maybe a little bit of a figure eight movement with the hips, the whole body. I don't know. Bend your knees as much as you need to, to plant your hands, walk them back up to the top in your downward dog. We're going to be taking our left foot to the outside of the left hand. So step it up, walk it up, do what you gotta do to get it there. Now we're gonna try to drop our right heel too. Turn your toes of both of your feet out slightly. Adjust, find your weird lunge, your weird lizard lunge. When you're ready to bring your back foot, you're probably already ready, to the top of your mat, into that squat, step it up, walk it up, toes out slightly of both of the feet, bend the knees as much as possible, lower the hips, yay, we made it. We can come all the way back up to standing and step our feet back in and together and roll the shoulders back and down and then with a big inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale into a half lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Plant your hands. Go back into downward facing dog. But keep your feet together this time. Or hip width apart is fine. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, lower your knees down to your mat. Cross your ankles. Take a seat with your legs out in front. Had to get a little weird today. Try something new. <laughs> Give your legs a hug, a rock side to side if you want to. We're gonna be extending our legs out long. And maybe our feet mat width apart with our toes pointing up. You can bend your knees any amount, lengthen through the spine, close your eyes if you want to, you get a few moments to be. So if you want to fold forwards, you can fold, you can stay sitting tall if you're not loving the distance that your feet are right now, you can bring them in, you can bring them wider, but I want you to slow down. Notice your breath. Maybe listen to your breath. Now, if you're folding forwards, let's use an inhale to lift again. You can bring your knees back together, give them a hug. And then we're just gonna be leaning back a little bit. <clears throat> taking some weight into the hands and our feet. You can bring your feet out a little wider. You can sway your knees side to side. We'll let our knees tip over to the left and stay there. So maybe your legs aren't right on top of one another because our feet started out wide. You could take your left foot though and rest it on top of the right knee or the quad and kind of guide the leg down a little more if there is some space for it to move, but just optional. Okay. 
If you did cross your legs, bring that left foot back down where it was. Lift your knees. Rock it out gently. Let your knees tip over to the right side. Any amount. A little extra if you want the right foot to rest on the left leg. Taking your right foot, bring it back to where it was, and then lifting the knee slowly back up. Take a sway. If you want to lean forwards and give your knees a hug, you can do that too. And then we're just going to, I guess, we've got a few options. You can enjoy a few moments in butterfly. And instead of leaning back, you might tip forwards or you might stay sitting nice and tall. If you want to turn on your core again, you might bring your knees together and lean back like we started. If you want to float your butterfly, you could do that too. Now you're leaning back. Sometimes this is core work. Sometimes it's more balance, but maybe it's both. So you could float your butterfly. You could also open the feet up, your bear pose, your floating happy baby. It's kind of similar to the squat we did earlier. I don't know, open the feet, bend the knees, hug your knees towards your armpits, balance, or strengthen the core or both. And then just work your way back in, feet together. Maybe you end up in butterfly, folding forwards. Now, wherever you happen to be, let's find our way back to maybe hugging the knees and a rocking side to side. We'll be making our way into just a comfy seat. So maybe that will be cross-legged. Hmm. We're gonna be reaching our arms up above us. And maybe your right hand can hold your left wrist and just create a little extra length through the arm and even that wrist joint with just a little pull of your hand. A little lean to the side. And then just switching, let your left hand hold your right wrist, just above that wrist joint, a little pull, a little length and a little lean. And then find your way back through center and bring your hands back down to the ground, to your knees, your lap. Maybe bring your hands together in front of your heart. Ah, that is it. That is all for today. Thank you so much for your playful spirits today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Feel free to lay down and spend a few moments in Shavasana. But until next time, namaste.